In this video, I'll show you how to use derivatives to maximize an area. A farmer wants to start raising goats, so she decides to build a small rectangular pen next to her barn. Here is a picture of what she'd like to make, and I'll point out that the barn is used for one side of the pen. She only has 300 feet of fencing material. Her goal is to find the dimensions of the pen that will produce the largest area with the limited amount of fence. Let's take a look at this situation from above. Let's build an example of a pen. In this drawing, the pen has dimensions of 280 feet by 10 feet. However, there are lots of other dimensions that use 300 feet of fencing material. For example, it might have dimensions of 250 feet by 25 feet, or it might have dimensions of 200 feet by 50 feet, or it might have dimensions of 100 feet by 100 feet, or it might be really tall and narrow and have dimensions of 10 feet by 145 feet. And since it could have any of these dimensions, we can use variables to represent the quantities. We'll use L to represent the length of the pen and W to represent the width of the pen and A to represent the area of the pen. And these variables could take on any value as long as the length and width add to 300 feet. There are infinitely many options for the length and width, and we need to find the values that maximize the area. We'll do this by creating an algebraic model for the area of the pen. Let's try to write down a formula for what we're trying to maximize and a formula for what's constraining us. We're trying to maximize the area of the pen, which is the length times the width. We're constrained by the amount of fencing material. We have 300 feet total, which is the perimeter of the pen, L plus 2W. Now, we have two equations and two variables. We'd like to have everything in terms of a single variable. What can we do next? The general strategy is to try to write one variable in terms of the other. For example, we could take our constraint equation and rearrange it so now L is equal to 300 minus 2W. Once we've done this, we can take our equation for area and substitute our new expression of 300 minus 2W for L. Then we can distribute the W to get that the area is equal to 300W minus 2W squared. Now, a is a continuous function of a single variable, w. The smallest value w could be is zero because we can't have the width of the pen be negative. The largest value w could be is 150 because if the width was 150, then all 300 feet of fencing would go into the width. So the domain of A is all numbers between zero and 150. Next, to find the value of w that would maximize the area function on the domain, we need to find critical points of the function and also check the endpoints. To do this, we first compute the derivative of a with respect to w using the power rule to get a prime is equal to 300 minus 4w. Critical points are where the derivative is zero or undefined. Since a prime is a linear function, it is defined everywhere. To find where it is equal to zero, we set a prime equal to zero and then solve for w to get w equals 75 as a critical point. To figure out the corresponding length, we can use our 300 minus 2w equation to get that the length is 150 feet when w equals 75. Next, we should also look at the endpoints. One endpoint has w equal to zero feet, which would correspond to a length of 300 feet. The other endpoint is when w equals 150 feet, which corresponds to a length of 0 feet. Which of these values for the width would give us the largest area? If we used a width of 0 feet, we'd have an area of 0. Similarly, if we used the width of 150 feet, then the length would be 0, so it would also have an area of 0 feet. If we used a width of 75 feet, we would get an area of 11,250 square feet. 
Since the endpoints and critical points represent the only possible places for A to obtain a maximum or minimum value, the maximum possible area for the pen must be 11,250 square feet. And this happens when the width of the pen is 75 feet and the length of the pen is 150 feet. So, our general strategy was to make an algebraic model for the quantity we wanted to maximize. Then, we wrote an expression for the constraint and used this to write one variable in terms of another. This let us rewrite our model in terms of a single variable. Then, we identified the domain and found the critical points and endpoints. We computed the area for each of these values of w to find the value that produced the largest area, thereby maximizing the area of the pen.